video, I'm going to share five elements that you need to be paying attention to if you want to build a compelling and strong personal brand this year. My name is Kay Putnam. I'm the psychology driven brand strategist. I have helped hundreds of one on one clients and thousands of students in my branding courses to build amazing brands. And I would love to share that intel with you. This is the work that can double or triple your revenue. It's what grows your audience. It can get you invitations to be featured on stages or collaborations with peers or in press places like Forbes magazine or entrepreneur like some of my clients. A whole lot of amazing results are possible when you have a strong personal brand. If you're building a personal brand, hit the thumbs up on this video. Helps me with the YouTube algorithm and it also helps more videos like this one show up in your suggested video feed. So to get more content on entrepreneurship, branding, and psychology, hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and I can't wait to see what you do with your personal brand. The first thing that a powerful personal brand needs is a unique personality and point of view. Nobody wants to follow the human that doesn't really know who they are or they're trying to be like everybody else. Think about making friends in the real world. We don't love the human that is shifty or like a shapeshifter when it comes to different situations. We like people that are strong, that are secure, that are certain in who they are, how they want to change the world, and what they stand for. So make sure to do the inner work first before you ever look at a color palette or a website design, because that is what should inform all of those outward decisions in your brand. Second thing that you need to start to do is to build a body of work. Maybe your body of work is hilarious TikTok videos where you're sharing enthusiastically and entertainingly about whatever your topic is. Maybe you're writing long form, in-depth blog posts. Maybe you have a podcast. Maybe you have a YouTube channel. But the key thing here is that you need to be a leader. You need to be proactive about building a body of work that people can know, like, become, or start to know, like, and trust you through. When we're coming into contact with people online, it's not the same. It's a lower trust environment than when we're meeting people in person. So you need to be proactive about creating content that people will start to know you for. And then through that content, you can weave in elements of your story, of your expertise, and again, like we said before, your personality and point of view so that people stick around. We are not Google. We don't need to just brain dump or word vomit everything that we know. People are actually really interested in hearing it through our specific point of reference. So don't feel like you have to be super professional all of the time. It's more about giving people the experience of who you are through each of these pieces of content that you create. And bonus points, the more that you create, the better you're going to get at doing this and the more your personal brand is going to grow. Third thing to think about when you're building a powerful personal brand is where are your platforms? Where are you going to speak? Where are you going to create this content? And chances are you are going to need to do some research and some learning about how to optimize for that particular platform. So when you're building a website, there's ways to make your website work better, to convert people from casual stumble or poners to people that are on your email list or buying your products. If people are showing up on YouTube, there are things to consider in terms of keywords and structuring your content to make your content best work on that particular platform. So don't overwhelm yourself. Don't try to be everywhere. 
choose your favorite platform that you want to be on, maybe two platforms, and figure out how to best shape your body of work to be found or to fit on that content or to succeed on that platform. Fourth thing is that when we're building a personal brand, we're doing it for a reason. So what is your reason? <laughs> Are you doing it to get a really fancy new job at a company that you're trying to impress? Are you trying to sell a book that you wrote? Are you selling online courses? Are you selling other people's products like as an affiliate or as a brand partner? What is your offer? What is the thing that you are selling? Make sure that you know what that is so that you can align your content to funnel towards that offer. Because if we're just showing up with no intention, we won't ever know if we're succeeding, right? So even if you are just trying to build an audience with the eventual long-term goal of, I don't know, having your own comedy special on Netflix, that's the long-term vision. So it helps you create content with purpose so that you can eventually reach that long-term goal. So what is your offer? Everybody has one. Figure out what it is for you so that you can optimize towards achieving that offer. And our final piece of building a strong personal brand this year and next year and years into the future is to consider how you are going to get visible to brand new audiences who have no idea that you exist at this moment. So there are ways to do that on social media platforms. So like here on YouTube, by targeting keywords that people are already searching for, that's a way to be found here. If you are creating content on TikTok or reels on Instagram, if you go viral with a very interesting, entertaining piece of shareable content, that can help you get discovered by new audiences. Or maybe some of you want to have a little bit more control or be more proactive about it. So things like maybe running some ads to build your audience or to promote your offers would be a way to get in front of new people or by partnering and collaborating with other people that already have an audience can be a really fantastic shortcut for getting visible in front of new people. So there you have it, five incredibly crucial ingredients to build a strong personal brand. So that was having a strong personality and point of view. And no, this doesn't mean that you have to be the next comedian. I am so far from funny. I am much more nerdy than I will ever be funny. I am not a supermodel. Like we don't have to be somebody else to have a strong point of view. We just need to know what our own innate advantages are and to bring that to the world. If you are struggling or if you're seeking what that strong point of view is, I do recommend taking my brand personality quiz on my site. It helps you identify what your primary and secondary brand archetypes are, which point you or a little shortcut to figuring out what that strong personality and point of view is that already exists within you. Second is to develop that body of work, weaving in pieces of your story and expertise. Third was to pay attention to which which platforms your brand is showing up and optimizing for growth on those platforms. Fourth is knowing what your long-term goal and your offer is, like what the intent of building a personal brand is, how you know when you've succeeded in this, and then finally, where are you going to get visible? How are you going to get in front of new audiences so they can fall in love and discover how amazing you are? So happy brand building hit that notification bell if you want to see my future videos about branding, entrepreneurship, and psychology. Thanks so much for being here. I'll see you guys next time.